Hello YouTube, this is Loyal to Law once again and this time in this video I'll be making a video about the cabs here in the open. And um, first things about uh, cabs that people should know. A lot of people are uh, belittling or underestimating cabs because first and foremost it's one of the neglected uh, muscles in the body that's that a lot of people don't really uh, warm up or exercise to because when they think about working out legs they always think about the uh, thighs and the hamstrings which are also um, one of the easy part body parts that uh, can be easily injured but working out calves it also really helps the legs because they uh, are great shock absorbers they really help stabilize the knee and also strengthen your ankles. If you, you really don't need to have big calves like bodybuilders do. You just need to have strong calves and to have the strength in your calves enough for you to absorb shocks whenever you're going down the stairs, you're going up the stairs, whenever you're running, you're skipping, you're hopping, whenever you're using your legs, definitely, especially when you're jumping and running. And so, without further ado, let us begin. First, this is a warm-up uh, video or warm-up exercise, so you really don't have to worry about uh, warming up for a while, and you can just follow me right after. First and foremost, we could just let ourselves stand relaxed in our normal standing position. Our feet is um, with the same width of us as our shoulders, or even wider if you want, if you're not comfortable with just as your shoulders and preferably you may want to um, not wear shoes if you have carpet floor but if you don't have a carpet floor maybe wearing light shoes like this is okay and so with standing like this normally relaxed relax not locked not stiff just relax the first thing that you want to do is to know the difference between a hop and a bounce a hop would be really jumping off from the ground, lifting your whole legs up. Where the bounce is, where you just lift your heels, then you go back down without letting your heels touch the floor. So imagine like having a spring when you lift your heels between the heel and the floor or the ground. So you're going to imagine that there's a spring there, so that when you put your weight there you're going to really uh, imagine that there's something between your heel and the ground so that you cannot put your heel on the ground totally so the exercise or the training that you're going to do is just do the doing the bounce not the hop not the hop the bounce as I demonstrate here slowly see you also want to relax your legs when you're doing this. Even though you're really feeling the tension on your calves, you have to relax your whole legs, your thighs and your hamstrings. You don't want to really do this because it'll really hurt your knees. You just want to relax your knees but not lock them. As you can see here. Now, if you want to speed it up, you may want to do so but still maintaining the relaxed form on your knees. So it'll be like, so. You may occasionally uh, use your heel to step on the ground, but that's okay. As long as you're trying to maintain that bounce, not really doing this. Although when you progress, you may want to do this, as I learned from Soon Style Bag Wazang, called pounding the stake. But that's a different uh, exercise. So as I do it here in front of you. And as I do it back view. Notice that I'm not that I'm trying to not put my heels on the ground. 
I'm trying to imagine that there's a spring between my heel and the ground so that I'm maintaining my calf posture. Now, this training is, uh, can be done from that part, the beginning part, to the intermediate and to the advanced quickly if you're really just trying to train your calves or your legs overall. And this is also a great warm-up. So, side view again. From here, speeding things up, you may want to do some stances. So say from here, you may want to do the bladed stance. So again, from here, bladed. There. Now when doing this, you may decide to put your hands up or put your hands down if you're just working on your legs. But if you're a real martial artist, you're, it's really strongly recommended that you put your hands up to maintain your guard and practice it. You can do uh, switching stances, doing it in slow-mo. You can do fast. So. You can do spotting. From here, you can do this. Or you can do some basic footwork. Like so. You can do from side to side. And if you want to cool down, just slow it down. Still maintaining that posture, see? Still not letting your heels slam on the ground. You're not, you do not want them. Slow it down. And if you really want to finish, just put your heels on the ground. Breathe, and then it's done. Then you can do your stretches from there. Now for stretches, you can do um, like the runner stretch. Basically, now for doing this, um, it's strongly recommended that you have something to support on, like a wall or a chair or a table within your hip level or just in front of you. Because if you don't have strong balance, you may not be able to correctly uh, stretch your ankles as well as your calves. The runner stretch would be standing here, front view. You put, let's say, your right leg behind, like so. So I'm going to put my right leg here, behind me. Then from here, you twist your right foot as, as, uh, as long as you can feel the stretch on your calves. See? Then, with your support in front of you, you hold it for at least 10 to 15 counts. Then slowly put it back up. Step forward. Then your left leg is at the back. So I put it here. Then, twisting your left foot to the left. Really feeling the stretch on your calves and the ankles. Holding on to the support in front of you. See, slowly, up until you just feel the stretch. You really don't have to go all the way. Count for 10 to 15 counts. Slowly back up. Then we do the right foot again. But this time, instead of doing here, we're going to do on the left side. Same thing until you feel the stretch. 10 to 15 counts. Back up. Left leg, other side, 10 to 15, slowly putting it back up, back here. Then 
this is uh, one of the tricky parts. You want to put, let's say you're done with your left, you want to use your right leg. So one step back. Now from here, you want to circle. Kind of like making a circle with your uh, toes pointing down. So clockwise, 10, still with the support in front of you, then back, another 10. Same with the left leg. Here, 10 clockwise, then 10 counterclockwise. And so, there you have it. That's a stretch for the calves as well as warm-ups before you do anything else. I hope that this video has helped you in a huge way. God bless you, always. Train safe and take care.